On this Thursday, the 29th of April, our service of morning prayer begins on page 80. <coughs> Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Christ our Passover, page 83. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin, and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 50 on page 654, Psalm 50. The Lord, the God of gods, has spoken. He has called the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, perfect in its beauty, God reveals himself in glory. Our God will come and will not keep silence. Before him there is a consuming flame and round about him a raging storm. He calls the heavens and the earth from above to witness the judgment of his people. Gather before me, my loyal followers, those who have made a covenant with me and sealed it with sacrifice. Let the heavens declare the rightness of his cause, for God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will bear witness against you, for I am God, your God. I do not accuse you before, because of your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I will take no bull calf from your stalls, nor he goats out of your pens. For all the beasts of the forest are mine, and the herds in their thousands upon the hills. I know every bird in the sky, and the creatures of the fields are in my sight. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the whole world is mine, and all that is in it. Do you think I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and make good your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you shall honor me. But to the wicked, God says, Why do you recite my statutes and take my covenant upon your lips? Since you refuse discipline and toss my words behind your back. When you see a thief, you make him your friend, and you cast in your lot with adulterers. You have loosed your lips for evil and harnessed your tongue to a lie. You are always speaking evil of your brother and slandering your own mother's son. These things have you done, and I kept still, and you thought that I am like you. I have made my accusation. I have put my case in order before your eyes. Consider this well, you who forget God, lest I rend you and there be none to deliver you. Whoever offers me the sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me. But to those who keep in my way will I show the salvation of God. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. All those things have vanished like a shadow, and like a rumor that passes by. Like a ship that sails through the billowy water, and when it pa has passed, no trace can be found, nor track of its keel in the waves. Or as when a bird flies through the air, no evidence of its passage is found. The light air, lashed by the beat of its pinions and pierced by the force of its rushing flight, is traversed by the movement of its wings, and afterward no sign of its coming is found there. Or as when an hour is shot at a target, the air thus divided comes together at once, so that no one knows its pathway. 
So we also, as soon as we were born, ceased to be, and we had no sign of virtue to show, but were consumed in our wickedness. Because the hope of the ungodly man is like shaft carried by the wind, and like a light hoarfrost driven away by a storm. It is dispersed like smoke before the wind, and it passes like the remembrance of a guest who stays but a day. But the righteous live forever, and their reward is with the Lord. The Most High takes care of them. Therefore they will receive a glorious crown and a beautiful diadem from the hand of the Lord, because with his right hand he will cover them, and with his arm he will shield them. The Lord will take his zeal as his whole armor and will arm all creation to repel his enemies. He will put on righteousness as a brass plate and wear impartial justice as a helmet. He will take holiness as an invincible shield and sharpen stern wrath for a sword. And creation will join with him to fight against the madman. Shafts of lightning will fly with true arm, aim and will leap to the target as well from a well-drawn bow of clouds and hails full of wrath will be hurled as from a catapult. The water of the sea will rage against them and rivers will relentlessly overwhelm them. A mighty wind will rise against them and like a tempest it will winnow them away. Lawlessness will lay waste the whole earth and evil doing will overturn the thrones of rulers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A Song of the Redeemed, page 94. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, is now, and, and will be forever. Amen. The prayers, beginning on page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Page 98. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Today we remember Catherine of Siena. Everlasting God, you so kindled the flame of the holy love in the heart of blessed Catherine of Siena, as she meditated on the passion of your Son, our Savior, that she devoted her life to the poor and the sick, and to the peace and unity of the Church. Grant that we also may share in the mystery of Christ's death, and rejoice in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We continue our prayers this morning on page 392. In peace we pray to you, Lord God, for all people in their daily life and work, for our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone, for this community, the nation, and the world, for all who work for justice, freedom, and peace, for the just and proper use of your creation, for the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression, for all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. For all bishops and other ministers. For all who serve God in His Church. 
For the special needs and the concerns of this congregation, hear us, Lord. For your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We will exalt you, O God, our King. And praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them. Who put their trust in you. Almighty God, giver of every good gift, look graciously on your church and so guide the minds of those who shall choose a bishop for this diocese, that we may receive a faithful pastor who will care for your people and equip us for our ministries through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.